Hello, I'm C4, and in this video I will show you the basics of how you can debug your code. Now first we need to prepare our studio. Go to View, and enable the output, and skip the analysis. These two windows will show you the errors in your code. These are absolutely essential for debugging your code. Now I'm going to make a script to use as an example. So I create a few bugs on purpose on this script to show you some common errors. And at the end of the video, I will also show you how to fix a bug that doesn't have an error. Now first off, as you can see, this end is rather aligned here. This means we have an error here. And if you go into the script analysis, you can see the same error over here. Now the first thing, we need to just read the error. So here you can see 16. This means the error is on line 16. Now the 2 is basically how much space is in front of here. So if I do this, now it's a 1. If I do this, it's a 3. So the most important is the 16. Now it tells us the problem here. It expects a closing bracket to close the opening bracket at line 9. But instead it got an end. So if we look at line 9, it's this line. So one of the opening brackets does not have a closing bracket. Every time you open a bracket, there needs to be another bracket to close it. Like here we open this one, and we close it here. Here we open this one, but we never close it. And that's why we get an error here. Now you might think the closing bracket has to go on line 16, but that's not correct. This ends from the place the script expects this bracket to be, which means this bracket has to come before this end. And let's go on this one. Now if you look at this end, this end is connected to this function here. And as you can see, this bracket is right in front of the function. So the closing bracket has to be right at the end of the function. And as you can see, the red lining is gone, and the error here is also gone. So now before we test our code, we need to know what this code is supposed to do. Now I made it myself, so I know what it's supposed to do. So when you press the F key, it should print this message here. So let's go in game and test it out. And as you can see, we're getting an error right away. Now first, let's look at this blue line here. You can see it says the error is in the script. Then it says players .sheet of four dot player scripts dot local scripts. If you go into players here, the sheet of four, player scripts, then local scripts. This is our script. So this is the script that has the error, and the error is on line 6. So if you go to line 6, that's this line. Now to the red line. The red line shows us the error itself. I first show spot again to our script, and here's our error. Attempt to index nil with cat children. Now what does that mean? Nil basically means nothing. And indexing is basically when you look for something in something else. Like for example, inside the play scripts, these are the items inside play scripts. So if you look for the chat scripts, you are kind of indexing this folder. So basically you are looking into something. So what it says is, we are attempting to look into nothing by using the get children command. So if you go to this line 6, here you have the get children command, and we are using it on char. So this error is telling us that char is nothing. But over here we can see char is player.character. So let's put a, let's first exit the game here. Now let's say print, Char. That way we can see if the character exists or not. 
So if we go back into the game now. You can see the sprint is nil. So that confirms char is nothing. It doesn't exist. So the error on line 6 is caused by this line here. Now this is a bit tricky. Because we did not make a mistake on this line. This line is perfectly fine. But the reason we are getting this error is because this script runs before the character is loaded. So before the character has spawned, this script has already run. So when we get to this line, the character hasn't spawned yet, so char is nil. It doesn't exist. So to solve that, we have to delay the script until the character has loaded. Now the easiest way to do that is to just move the script into the start character scripts. Now start the character scripts will place the scripts inside it into the character. So when the script is placed in the character, we know the character already exists. So we cannot get this error again. So now let's try again. As you can see, we are getting a new error. Now let's go out again and check the line. The error is on line 11. So this line here. Now the error is key code is not a valid member of input objects. Now this means that key code does not exist in this key. Now this key comes from this function here, which comes from input begin from the URS, which is a variable over here for the user input service. So if you never use the input so if you never used the user input service before, this error will be impossible to solve without some help. So let's get uh, Google. So let's look up our user input service. Let's say Roblox. Over here is the function we need, input begin. Now this page gives us a lot of information about this function. Let's start with parameters. I'll put this on the side here. So this function has two parameters, inputs and game processed events. So key is the first parameter. This is the input and processed is the game processed event. Now the game processed event is not giving us an error, so we can ignore that for now. So we have an error with the key, which is the input. So let's go into the input. Well, if we click here, it just brings us back here. We need to go to the input objects over here. Now this is not a long page with a lot of confusing information. If we look over here at the properties, the properties are all the things inside of the key. And this one we need, key code. So key code is a part of the key. As you can see here, there's a typo in this code. There needs to be a capital C in here. So let's change this to capital C. Let's run it again. And you can see we are getting another error, a very similar one. So let's go back. As you can see, key code is not a full member of enum item. So here you can see enum. This one also needs a capital C. Now if you go to play again. No errors yet. If you press F, it worked. So now I want to show you what to do if you don't get an error at all. So I'm going to move this script 
into here. Now this will cause the error on this line again, because the script loads before the character. So another way to fix this line is to say player dot character edit. Wait. This will make the script wait until the character is loaded, and then continue. Wait, there also need to be an or in between here, like this. So now if you go test it out. We are not getting an error. If I press F, nothing happens. Now why is this? The character is recognized, otherwise you would get this error here. So this is not a problem here. Like if I try to print char. You can see it says you should have 4. So I did find the character. So you have absolutely no clue where the error is. So we need to figure out at what point the script stops working. So to do that, we are going to use some prints. So over here I'm going to say print 1. I'll copy this in here. Here, 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 and here. I'm going to make this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at every point it could crash, I put another print. So this way you can tell how far the script continues until it stops. So if we try it out. It only prints one. This means between one and two, it stops. So the problem is in this line. But we know the character exists. So let's copy this, put this in here, put a hashtag in front. This will tell us how many children are inside the character. So for every child, this should run one time. The children are just parts that are inside the character, like the arms, the head, the torso, and all that stuff. So let's test it out. You can see it's zero. So the character has loaded, but the body parts inside the character have not loaded. So we need to wait for the character parts to load first. So one way we can do that is repeat wait until the number of children inside the character is bigger than, let's say, 5, then test again. Now you can see it prints all the numbers. If I press F, it's working. I hope you learned something in this video. If you have any errors that you cannot solve, feel free to join my Discord server. We have lots of friendly, experienced scripters that can help you out.